Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Shauna Marshall and welcome to my little corner of the internet where I create Sims 4 Let's Plays. I already know you're gonna enjoy your time here, so please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out what's going on in your heart? Hey guys, we are back with another episode of Eliana's Way. So in the last episode, y'all know they had, she had a conversation with um, her soon to be neighbors before she moved into her new home, just trying to get the feel of the farm life, what they did, how they did it, all that other stuff, tried to meet them, see how they were. All that other good stuff. So that was the last episode. In this episode here, we will be moving finally, hopefully. Um, so we have started packing up a lot of our furniture, like a lot of the room furniture for the most part has been packed up in some of the rooms. So my girl is getting ready to depart and go to the new house. But before she does that, um, we are actually going to just make sure that the kids are taken care of. And then um, we are going to meet Scott, which is Eli's dad, for those that does not know. Um, it is Eliana's oldest son or, or oldest child, only son, um, his dad. He wants to meet Eliana. So he asked if she could just come over to his house so they could talk for a minute um, about some things. So she was like, yeah, sure. No problem. Um, so she's going to head on over there once she gets the kids settled and just make sure that they have everything that they need. So let's go ahead and get into this episode. All right, y'all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cook some breakfast just to make sure that the family um, has something to eat. Oh my God, we gotta go to the grocery store. So oatmeal it is because I don't want, um, I wanna make sure that the kids are fed and everything. Also guys, so Elena has aged up y'all, but we decided to age her up because she's going to have her party once they move and once they get settled into the house. Then they're going to um, have her birthday party. But she has aged up. So here is Elena. Yeah, we have no furniture in the house. Like it's all gone. So just ignore it. But here's our baby Elena looking just like her dad, Dante. Um, she has always looked like Dante. She has never looked like Eliana. Um so we will be having her party once they move into the house and they get settled. Um, they did not want to try to have her party and then move. They just felt like that was going to be way too much at once. So, oh, Dylan is off to work. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, yeah. So hopefully as soon as we get into the house, um, we will be having a birthday party for our girl. Wow. All right, what else do we need to do for her career? Reach level five in writing, reach level three in painting, and discuss outfits or fashion. That's complete. Okay, great. Because I need to get to working on that because my girl needs to start in, like, she needs a raise. She needs a raise because right now we only got, girl, calm down. We only got Dylan making all of the money. Mm, where are you? Child, we done stripped all the wallpaper off the wall and everything. Will you come and get your, 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 come get your bonus sister. What's wrong with her? What does she need? I think she just wants your attention. Like, I, I think that's just all she needs. Okay, do tummy time with her. Okay, my girl, Eliana, she's going to eat. Let's see, do y'all want something to eat? Are y'all hungry? Everybody talking about it's poorly decorated. That's because we don't have no furniture, okay? Y'all need to chill out. Like, dang, we, we, we getting ready to move, people. Calm down. All right, girls. As soon as you get done with that food, we're going to head out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so far, Star has been sort of calm, you know, with her issue with her mom. She hasn't been giving Eliana too much 
problems, but that's, I mean, or too many problems, but that's also because Eliana and Dylan have not talked to her about her possibly not being able to go over to her mom's house because of everything that Hazel is trying to pull. So once they have that conversation with her, then we really gonna know how she feel. Okay, girl, as soon as you get done with that, you need to come on in here, use the restroom. And how are you tired? Girl, okay, it's going to take her forever to eat that, and it's annoying. So, I'm, I really think I'm about to take everything that's slow out of my game for, for Insemnia and put all of the fast eating my, um, choices in my game because it, it's just way too slow for me. Okay, girl, you get through with that. Use the restroom, and then we're going to go ahead and travel... Um, and we're going to go alone so we can go ahead and see exactly what Scott wants. So we can get back to this house and finish packing up. Okay, girl, we do not have time for you to be sick. All right, let's go on up here and knock on this door. And let's see what this guy wants. Where you at? Girl, you slow. All right, I'm going to stay here because I don't have to. Okay, it's going to disappear anyway. Whatever. Let's see where he. Oh, he's outside. Okay, that's fine. We can be outside. We can be outside, period. Eliana is far too uncomfortable. Girl, why? Am I good? A little stuffy. Like, who got time for any of this? Nobody. Okay, so he want us to come here. Let's come over here and sunbathe while he want uh, while, while he want to talk. Sunbathe and swim where? We don't have our pool yet. So we're going to enjoy his. Ooh, come over here instead, girl. Come over here instead. I like over here better. Oh, we could just lounge over there. So do that. Okay, and then let's take control of Mr. Scott so we can see exactly what he wants. Girl, what, do you, what is she doing? <laughs> she like, okay, so what's up, Scott? What you want? Like, why you call me all the way over here, girl? Not, not, not the hair changing. Okay, so my girl is like, all right, Scott, I'm here. So what's up? What did you want to talk about? They know you're about. She like, yeah, what you, you need to tell me like what you want, girl. You done took your contacts out and everything. I cannot. She like, so what's up? Oh! <gasps> God, Eliana, bruh, y'all don't even have romance, Eliana, how could you do that, like they romance bar is a lot, let me bring this up, they have zero romance, and my girl is acting like they do, <laughs> oh, did not you sneezing in her face? She like, what was that? She like, Scott, what what was that? Bro. Not Scott won't our girl back. He just like, look, I've been thinking. Girl, you you keep doing all the talking, but he the one that needs to talk. He like, I just been doing a lot of thinking. Like, I feel like we need to give each other another chance. Like, you're you're older, you're more mature, I'm more mature. But she like, you're married, Sky. What are you talking about? And I'm getting married to Dylan. Like, we can't sit here and act like we're kids again. Bro. <laughs> What is going on? Y'all, what is going on right now? She like, Scott, we're supposed to be friends. Stop acting crazy. Get in the pool and let's just have a good time. He like, but I don't want to swim. Boy, get your butt in the pool. Go swim. I cannot. She's like, so she going to be talking while she's doing that. She like, so where is Leah anyway? She, he's like, oh, she went out of town. She went out of town. They'll be gone for a few days. So she's like, so you call me over here just because your your fiance or wife or whatever she is is gone? I like Leah. So what exactly are we doing, Scott? 
He's like, man, I told you what I wanted. I feel like we need to give give each other another chance. We never did that since we've been older. She's like, yeah, because you moved on and you went with Leah. And then I met Dante and then Dylan. And Dylan is who I'm with now. Look how he looking at her. I'm done. Scott is like, you with him for now. Girl. Not him. He is truly watching her, y'all. I don't even know what to do right now. And why it look like you up so high from the water, Eliana? Like, girl, it look like you levitate, not floating. You supposed to be about the same. High. Okay, I am not even going to get all into that. Girl, get up. You want to sit here and back float. Stop back float. Get down from the back float. Eliana. Okay, I want to see. Not both of them being flirty. What is this? Uh-huh. He like, man, listen, Eliana. I don't know what I want anymore. All I know is that I do want to try with you. Try it again with you. And she's like... <laughs> Scott, stop being crazy. You know, doggone well, we cannot do that. Boy, you are not about to go grill nothing. Don't you dare go grill nothing. I said, don't go grill nothing. Get your butt over here. Get back over here. Okay, Eliana, maybe maybe it's the pool. Y'all need to get out the pool. Get, get out. Put your contacts back in. Bless you. Because, girl, you know you know better. You are not about to back float. Put your clothes on. Put put your clothes on. Um, Change outfit. Put it back in there. Thank you. Now what you want to do? Okay, y'all just going to chat. I think that's good. She's like, we cannot do this again. She's like, you cannot sit here and kiss me. You have a whole family. Scott is like, listen, I know what I got, but I see the way you move and I see how you are maturing. This is what, this is always how I wanted you to be, Eliana. And Eliana keeps getting in this freaking pool and she's actually about to make me upset. <laughs> Girl, get out of the pool. Oh, I can't teleport because if I do, she's still going to be in the freaking water. So I can't do that. He like, man, get out the pool. She like, okay, well, where you want to go? He like, we need to just go in the house and just talk this through. All right, put her back in her clothes. All right, let's um make them a group. More choices, form group. All right, and both of y'all just come in the house and let's sit down and actually have a conversation. So sit together. At the dining room table. I'm not taking y'all to no living room or nothing. Dining room table it is. Girl, you can't be that tired. And I don't want you to start stinking. She's like, okay, we really got to talk this through. He's like, I know we do. Like, I'm sorry for doing this and springing it on you. But it's something that's been on my mind for a long time, Eliana. I just never had the guts to actually tell you. Uh -huh. She's like, do you know how long I've waited for you to say that, though? Girl, what is up with her in this pool? I got to get that steady seat back in. I got to put it back in. I swear, when that was in my game, I was not so stressed out when I just wanted them to have a conversation. Okay. um, Let's have, like, an actual, like, a deep conversation. Because that is what's needed. <laughs> She's Should like, listen, I get that. She was like, but the things that we're doing, there's no way we can do this again. She's like, we are now friends. We're at a place where we can raise Eli. We can be around each other and it not be awkward. He's like, we can still do that. What do you mean? She's like, you doing all this talking, Scott. It's going to be the same way. Look at how you approaching it now. She's like, this is something that I can't do. I cannot hurt Dylan like this. She's like, I think it's best for me and you to just be friends. Like, we can't be anything else. 
She said, we can't do Eli like that either. We can't play with his emotions. He's older now. Where y'all going? You are not back floating. Like, you are not going to be back floating. And wh where are you going? He want a grill. She want a back float. Like... <laughs> I'm so done with y'all. I just want y'all to have a conversation. So like, are we clear? Do do we understand each other? This romance that y'all got going, it cannot continue. Like we can't do it again, people. Okay? Do y'all understand each other? Uh, ask to be... Just become best friends. That is what y'all need to do. Y'all have worked really hard on y'all relationship. And being able to co-parent. That is what y'all need to be. Oh, Best yes, friends. Yes. Exactly. Nothing oh, more. She's like, we're oh, friends, God. Scott. That is how we need to keep it. He's like, I don't know. Maybe you're right. She's like, you see how hard we've worked to do. Eliana. No. And stop freaking sneezing. Eliana, bro. I said, right. we've worked too hard Lynn. to, bro, <laughs> is it just me or do I feel like you're coming on to me? Bro, technically you came on to her first. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do here. I feel, I don't know what, she, it's like, she's doing the right thing, but she's doing, okay, I feel like my girl is making the right decision, but the wrong decision at the same time, I mean, she can't be all good, right, she gotta have like one slip up, and plus in the back of her mind, she's like, she really don't know what Dylan did with Hazel, so y'all know how Eliana sometimes she, her, her mind plays tricks on her. So you know what? She, I'm just going to let her mind play tricks on her right now. And she going to do what she knows she don't need to do. But she going to do it anyway. Okay, y'all. So these two are done. And now she basically want to tell him that this has to be their secret. He cannot tell nobody. I mean, who would he tell being that he with Leah? So I don't think this is something that he going to go around want to brag about either. But that's basically what she's like. We made a mistake. This cannot happen again. You can't tell anybody like you have to promise me, Scott, that you won't say a word. And he's like, I'm not going to say nothing to nobody. He's like, she's like, I'm moving with Dylan soon. Like, this is something that I should not have done. Scott is like, you wanted to. So now stop acting like you didn't. He's like, I think there's something else still there that maybe we could work on. She's like, are you crazy? No. She's like, this is never going to work, Scott. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, you know what? This is stupid. I never shouldn't have even came over here. She's like, I really need to get my car so I can go. She's like, I really have to go, Scott. Okay, it's eight in the after eight in the evening. I was not supposed to be here this long. She's like, I really have to go. Okay, please don't tell anyone. He's like, listen, I'm not gonna tell anyone. I wouldn't do that to you, and I wouldn't do that to Eli. She's like, okay, I hope I can trust you. He's like, why would I do that? She's like, okay, well, I have to go. I'm exhausted. Okay, stop controlling him. Not, not my guy still in there talking to herself. <laughs> Eliana, the first thing we got to do when we get to the house is take a shower. And the thing is, is that Dylan is home now. I know he's off work by now. Girl, and you have been gone all day and we were supposed to be packing. Wait, not him waiting outside? Like my girl just pulled up. Why why are you out here? He gonna come up and be like, why were you not answering your phone? I've been worried sick. Not break up. Yo. He's like, what in the world were you, Eliana? I have been calling you. I text you. You didn't answer. It's 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock at night. She's like, what do you mean? I was just out trying to get some more things before us to pack. She was like, he was like, but you walking in here empty handed. 
mental. <laughs> She's Come like, on. why are you no. even, why are you tripping? I was out. Okay. So what's the big deal? He's like, I don't care if you go out, but I called you, you didn't answer. I text you, you didn't answer. So what were you doing? She's like, listen, I'm way too exhausted to even do this. She's like, he's like, you need to tell me where you were. 10 o'clock and the, what is this? This, huh, this means that Eliana dislikes arguments. I mean, that's fine. He's like, the kids have been by themselves all day on a Saturday. Where have you been? She's like, I don't understand what the third degree is, but I don't have time. Dylan is like, what in the world has gotten into her? She's like, listen, I'm about to come in here. We're going to put her to bed. So um, her room is pretty much packed up, but we do still have this pack and play that we're going to keep in the room. Um, and we're just going to let her sleep in here. Girl, you don't need to check her. She's fine. You need to put her in the bed. Put her in the bed. Yes. Everybody go to bed. Everybody go to bed. Um. Okay. Can you put her in there, please? Yes. Put Eat in the bed. Girl, you bet, you bet not even dare. Okay. Are you going to do it? Is somebody trying to stop? I don't want you doing anything. You was the reason she wasn't picking her up. He's like, so are you going to talk to me now? Are you going to tell me like where you been? Why are you just not coming home? She's like, no, I'm tired. He's like, so we're not going to talk about this. She's like, no, I told you I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Girl, y'all, they only got, <laughs> they only got this blow up mattress because their room has been packed. <laughs> So, all right, my girl is going to go to sleep because she's exhausted. All right, she's up there watching TV. Um, Do I have a, no, I still got her old uh, bed. So, I need to put her a new mattress, a uh, little blow-up mattress in here real quick. Okay, so I put the blow-up mattress in here so she'll be able to go in here and sleep. And everybody's mad because they stuff is just poorly decorated. But I mean, I don't really know what to tell them because we're moving. So it ain't going to be the greatest. <laughs> now he is still mad, y'all. He's like, where in the world was she? And why is she acting so crazy all of a sudden? We don't know. Okay. Why don't you come down here, take you a shower, cool off, and uh, talk about it some more tomorrow morning. Hopefully she'll talk to you then. Oh, I need to put this in the refrigerator because that's exactly what they're going to have tomorrow morning. Let's put Eli to bed. Okay, he's gone to bed now. All right, and then when my guy gets out, he'll be able to go ahead and go to sleep. And him and Eliana can talk about whatever is on his chest tomorrow morning because my girl said no tonight. All right, y'all, these two are up early. So let's go ahead and have Dylan take care of her. Uh, looks like she needs a bath. So we're going to have Dylan go ahead and give her that little bath so they can be out of the way for the day. Because she is a stanky boy. So he woke up early. So we're going to go ahead and get that taken care of. Does he have to work today? No, he's off today and Monday. So perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's go ahead put her in the tub. Let's get her a bath. Um, okay, we need to go ahead and get you up because if I want to move today, then we really need to be like getting on the road. Like we got a whole lot of stuff that we got to do. Not us wanting to move today and then it's prank day. Like who got time for this? Who got time for this? And we got dirty clothes just just everywhere we need to wash a load of clothes before we go like y'all we're just whoops sorry eliana girl we just we just a dirty mess okay um come and put her back down uh we need to probably just keep her right there for now so let's put her down there yes Okay, and then I am going to put the clothes on in the washing machine. Eliana, let's throw this away. 
Because, girl, we got so much work to do. In so little time. Okay, yes. Go ahead and throw that away. Um, How about you come and put that in the washing machine? Where is you going? No, 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 no. We just needed to throw that away. And that is it. Okay, she needs to try to go night-night. Because she didn't get all of her sleep out. So you try to go night-night. And let's see. Okay, he wants to get him something to eat, which is cool. Okay, and then Eliana, go ahead and do that and cut it on. Let's get that running. Wash that laundry. And then let's get you something to eat. Uh, dang it, I passed it. Okay, get you some leftovers. Where are these kids at? Everybody is still knocked out. Okay, she needs to get on up so she can get in the shower. Okay, you go take a shower. Everybody else is just hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and wake them up so we can come on down here, get some leftovers. Let's get them fed. And then we don't have to worry about them and food. That's going to be the good part. Okay, she went to sleep. Good, good. All right, my girl is sitting here eating. Woo, oh, I have to, I'm going to have to take that eyeshadow off of her. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do it now because I don't like the way it got her face glitching. Okay, girl. Now, I got that fixed. Let's have her go ahead and sit down, get her some food in her belly. They got the same thing on today. How cute is that? That's so cute. They wearing the same thing today. All right. She coming in here to eat. Why is you tense? I can't from losing confidence. Well, boy, sit here. Like you act like you had to sit there, which you don't. Oh, well. <laughs> you sat down and she got up. I'm done. Oh, y'all two needed to chat. She's like, what is it, little guy? Oh, my goodness. They even almost match. That's too cute. She, he's like, Mom, I'm ready to move. She's like, I know. We just trying to get everybody taken care of, and we'll be moving shortly. Shortly. What did I say? Shortly. Shortly. It's a bitty flange. A clone that blew my and y'all, I know Dylan looks different. I could not find his actual skin, so he gonna be looking different from now on. Not him over here telling stories. Is he over here telling stories? Also, uh, Star also looks different, y'all, because I lost her skin too, so. Both of them look different. Eli looks a little different, um, only because I on purpose made him look different because for whatever reason his skin was like distorted so i don't know what that was so i had to make him look different okay is y'all done y'all we supposed to be like trying to get on out of here come on add this to the dryer add this to the dryer it's a good thing if we're able to get at least one load of clothes done if we can get one load of clothes done, then, you know, what we, 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 we doing some good. All right. And clean that lint tray and go ahead and dry that laundry. Okay, cool. Now, what is everybody's problem? Poorly decorated. Yes, I know. That's why, that's why we're trying to leave. Okay, sister girl, you need to go to the restroom. So you go use it. And he going to be like, we still need to talk about last night. Like, I still would like to know where you were. And why did you, why you didn't come home until almost 10 o'clock? She like, did I question you like this when you came home at like after midnight? He's like, you did question me. She's like, but did I get all upset with you like this? No, I did not. And you was out there doing something that you wasn't supposed to do. I wasn't. He like, listen, I just thought something was wrong. All I want you to do is just text. See, you see how many times I text you and I got not one response. Dylan is like, all I'm asking is for you to respond to me. That's it. She's like, okay, I'm just too tired, Dylan. 
<laughs> they just stressed because of the move, y'all. They are stressed because of this move. Now Dylan is like, listen, Star, if you coming to me with something that's going to stress me out, please don't. He like, just please don't do it. Okay, so what we need to do is pull their money out of their account. Um, So let's manage account. Let's go to their checking account. And we're going to transfer it from the checking to the, wait, no, from the checking to the household funds. And I think that, I don't know, but I'm just going to pull out 250000 Um, And that should be enough for that house, I think. I think. Think. If not, oh my God, we only have $82,000 left in our checking account, which is okay because we have a hundred and something in our savings, but we are definitely going to be on a budget in this house, which means we will not be buying any new furniture. We're going to have to roll with the furniture that's in the house for now, except for um, maybe Star's room and Eden's room. But Eden will be staying with or staying in, um, I don't even know what that said. We'll be staying in Eliana's room. So that part, it doesn't even matter. Okay, we're going to have to get her up. So let's, no, not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. I'm sorry. Um, Eliana, come wake her up. Not her playing pranks on somebody. Come and wake her up so we can put this in our inventory. Because we're going to need this, girl. We don't need to be spending no money. Okay, so let's wake her up. And we're going to go ahead and let her out of here. Wake up, baby love. While she doing that, um, put this in your inventory. We're going to pretend like we're packing this up. Girl, if you don't get your butt out of it, get your butt out this bed. And put it in the inventory. You know what? Get out the bed. Okay. Now, okay, you know what? I don't. Okay, let's just move because I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. All right, let's move households. Everybody should be good. Now, why are you thinking about babies? Or are you thinking about your baby sister? Is that what she's thinking about? Her baby sister. I've never seen a child have the little rattle. Y'all, we're finally here. I'm so excited. Y'all, this house that we have been looking at for I don't know how long is finally ours. Like the house has been purchased. It has been bought. I was so excited. Okay, so now I can actually finally show you guys the inside. And I'm sorry, this house is just too big to do the actual like full freaking, you know, house tour. Like it, it's just it's just too big and it would take absolutely forever. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to go in. We're going to show you the layout of the entire house. Okay, so y'all, this part here, I did show you guys like from the kitchen, how it's open. This is this area. So I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen that. We've already seen the kitchen and all of that. Like I said, I'm keeping it the same because it's just so cute. And it goes with like the little farmy vibes that we, that, you know, that we're going for. And then I love this area here, how you walk over here. And then you have like this railing where you look down. And all of this area down there, y'all, is Eliana and Dylan's space. All of that. Everything downstairs is going to be their space. And then when you go upstairs, that is where all the kids are going to be. So Star is going to be up there. Eli, um, Elena. The only one that's not going to be up there right now is Eden. Um, just because it's so far from Eliana and she's still so little. So she's going to be down there with them. Um, we're just going to put her like a little crib or something in their room. So she will be able to go over there with them. So over here is like their little play area, all that other stuff. Um, Miss Star is going to have this room. It's the only room on this floor, y'all. So she will have the only room on this floor. Like I said, we're keeping all of this furniture right now 
For one, I don't have to worry about if I mess around and do something else with my game. I don't have to worry about the furniture being being gone. So, of course, I will be changing things as it come like this bathroom. <laughs> that right there got to go. But um, so some things will be changed, but I just I'm just not changing everything in here. Like that's not horrible. I'm just going to add my clutter to make it a little bit more homey. Um, but yeah, so star is going to be the only one that has a room on this. What's this? Why is it blocked? Oh, it's another bathroom. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna have to move this though, because we can't get to it. That's cool. Okay. So at least we have another bathroom and then going downstairs, y'all, y'all know, I don't know how to go down. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Downstairs. Y'all get the drift. So... This is um, the downstairs area where Eliana and Dylan is going to be. I will change this area because I don't like that couch. Um, so I'm going to fix that up just a little bit. And then you come on over here, y'all. Do y'all see how much room they got? This is insane. This is insane. I can't remember which one was the room. I think it's this one. But then they have like this living area over here, like... It's crazy. I don't even know what to do with this area. I'm thinking that this is going to be like their little movie, movie, not room, but movie area just for them when they want to come down here, be alone, have some alone time away from the kids. They definitely got plenty of room to do so. That old room, that area over here, I'm pretty much going to keep it like that. So if the kids want to come down and play or, you know, be with them, then they can all come over here and watch and look outside, do whatever, you know, whatever else they want to do. But this area here, moving to the bedroom is only strictly for Eliana and for Dylan and that's it so then here's the bedroom so their bedroom is not that big I honestly may make it bigger um and pull this wall out just a little bit I don't know I literally said that I was not about to do this whole tour like this y'all because it's taking too much time so I'm really not <laughs> so I'm really not but I do want to show you guys upstairs as well Okay, so we have a room over here. This is going to be probably, um, this is going to be Elena's. This is going to be Eli's room. And then you come over here, y'all. We have nothing else but rooms over here too. So one room is going to be for Eden. I'm going to go ahead and decorate it for her so she'll have it. And then they'll have like a playroom. They'll have, or either we'll make this like a guest room. We really do need a guest room. And then they're going to have like their playroom all out here. So it's all like gated and things like that. So they'll be able to walk around because we do have this opening here where they can go and get around. So all of this area here, y'all can be like the kids play area or the kids movie area where they can come entertain their guests. You know, kids are getting older. They'll have friends come and want to spend the night, things like that. So. We have so much room in this house and I am in love. Like, I love it. I don't know. But, um, boy, where is your clothes? Come on now. Like, come on now. We're just moving into the house and you want to, you, you don't want to have on your right clothes. Like y'all was matching. What happened? Like what happened? Y'all was matching and everything was great. Was it this outfit since your clothes don't want to load? Okay, it was. Yay. All right. I know you're mad at her right now because she didn't want to answer uh, your question. But can you just like go over here with her? Because this is a moment for y'all. So I need for you to go there and I need for you to go there too. Like this is a moment for y'all where y'all have bought y'all house. Like, y'all worked hard for this. Like, they planned, okay? This was not something that, not, not this. Not this, okay? This was not something that they planned and just did the next day. Like, they thought this through. They did that. That's all I'm saying. Um, why? What is Goose? Why can't we do this? Y'all, I'm sorry. I had to cheat that. Like, why did they romance go down? Like, that's crazy. Why is they romance going down like this? It was because they were stressed because of the house. Like, I know exactly what it was. What it was. Like, y'all can't let that get to y'all. Like, really? You scared the mess out of me. Get out. 
hell out of the way. You always in the way. Go over there. Go look at the house. Go take a tour of the house. Go. Go. Like, they really wanted this moment for themselves. All right, y'all. I think right there is a good place to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Scott and Eliana. I just think that it was like a little one-time dip back. You know, that's it. Like, her and Scott, what... I don't know if y'all remember, but it took Eliana a really, really long time to get over Scott. Even though I don't necessarily think she ever got over it. Because even when Scott started dating Leah, Eliana did tell, like, she was like, this is the man that I always wanted him to be. Like, the man that he was being to Leah was like, she was like, dang, why couldn't he have been that way when he and I were together I mean but they were young they were teenagers and then he grew up he met Leah and he just like fell for her so it took Eliana a really really long time I guess not to get over but to be okay not being with Scott and then for Scott to come back and say all of the things that Eliana has been wanting him to say, I don't know. I feel like it's going to play with her emotions a little bit, which is probably why the romance between her and Dylan was sort of going down because it's like playing in her mind. And then she was already going through the things that she was going through with Dylan when um the hazel situation came up but she does feel like dylan is the right guy for her because if she was to bring scott back into her life it would just be turmoil it would mess up eli their schedule the friendship that she and scott has tried to work so hard to have that's gonna be messed up so it's gonna be a lot of things that be messed up just because they want to see if they little you know if they little fling still working and things like that i don't think it's worth it and I don't think we're going to go that way. But if Scott does continue to come into the picture, I don't think my girl is going to push him away. Because y'all notice if Dante would have did that, she would have slapped the mess out of Dante or either like pushed him away and been like, get away from me. Especially if they didn't have no romance. But she didn't do that with Scott. Anyway, y'all make sure to leave me some comments down below of exactly what you guys think about that. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that post notification bell. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new episode. Bye, guys. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me?